and welcome to my channel. Nice to see you again. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to do some rock fishing. From down here. And tide is coming up. High tide is about 10 o'clock. So I'm going to fish into the dark till about you know, 11, 12. So there's some kelp beds down there rough ground and uh, I'm in Burnt Island Burnt Island Harbour is over there there's the famous blue building by the breakers but I decided to fish from here because yeah you do catch from the breakers over there so far as I know I never fished there but the research is there's a lot of there's mostly small fish coming off so I'm still in the quest to get my three pound plus codling. So I think I can do it here. I would like to go over to uh, the lighthouse over there in Abadawa, but at night time I think it's too dangerous. This one is right. You still have to be absolutely careful, but that's right because you've got some nice flat spaces here. Lots of room and uh, landing shouldn't be too much of a problem later when the tide is coming up. Yeah, you have big boulders in the bottom and then you get some kelp beds and then further out it goes into sand. So I think there's a, like a passageway coming around where the fish head over here. So I'm going to go out there, I don't know, 40, 50 yards maximum. I think the fish come around here along the shore. So that's the theory anyway, so right, I want to get set up, I'm going to try my new rig today, rock bottom rig, but I'll show you that later, so yeah, let's go and get set up. It's a two hook paternoster with a breakaway, 20 pound breakaway uh, rock bottom setup. Two hook paternoster, I modified it with three or hooks, and uh, yeah, so it's, it's 80 pounds body and 30 pounds uh, snoots with amnesia uh, so what I'm going to do is I'll show you the bait and so we got some got some blueies here little strips We're using cocktail I still got a few little sand deals here so and I got some freshly dug lugworms and a gaper clam. Use them to, and I got some freshly dug ragworms. So we've got plenty of plenty of fresh bait. So and yeah, as soon as we're gonna chuck the first one out, uh, I'm using. Oh, sorry about the wind. Uh, 40 pounds braid with a 50 pounds shock leader. Uh, because you don't have to cast very far, 40, 50 yards, you don't have to give a welly, so, and a four ounce griplet. So let's see how we're gonna get on, so. First hooks are baited up with some uh, cocktail of rag and blue in the top, and a cocktail of rag and lug on the bottom. Uh, bluey and lug on the bottom. Rag and bluey, bluey on the on the top. Well, let's see how we got on. Right, let's get us chucked out first one, and then keep you posted. So I don't expect anything really to happen till till it gets dark, from eight eight o'clock onwards, roughly. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay, let's get chucked out. Oh, the sun, look at that, it's burning. What a sunset, huh? Wow. I use similar two boom paternoster, but this one I put some floating beads on there. And the bottom one we got uh, luck, and uh, the top one rag one. And then see. 
see out of out of see what they're going for. But let's get it checked out and then see how we get on. I think it's a small fish by a free old hook. Mind you, a gopi guy has got a free hook in his mouth. <laughs> Yeah, I got the bait, crabs. First fish of the night, tiny little codling on a free hook. Yeah, we're gonna get them released again. Tiny, tiny little one. Yeah, two minutes after I put the uh, Line back out. I had some small bites again. The left has a lot of small uh, cutlings around. So let's see what happens. Hopefully, we can get a bigger one. This is fish number two. Nice and coley. There you go. Coley. Well, it took a while after the first one. Yeah, but nevertheless, we start catching. And that was on. Loved one. Yeah. But the uh, crabs are being horrendous this evening. Can disturb the hooks within about 10 minutes. Alright, let's see if we find catch another one. Yeah, I'm back home now and uh, well, it was two fish, one cutling, one coley. A few more little bites, but the crabs are just horrendous. In some stages, five minutes and bait is gone. So, yeah. My quest goes on for a three pound cutling. I didn't get it today. I didn't get that big bite. And, uh, yeah. It was quite a windy evening. I mean, conditions were good. But fish didn't want to know. And that's how it goes. So thank you for watching. And till next time. See you later. Bye bye.